All right, everyone, welcome back for another episode of Carnivore Trades. Today is Monday, November 18th, 2024. If you're not done so already, please give the video a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe to the channel, come find me on carnivoretrades.com. Of course, swing trading alerts, analysis, and live day trading. We'll probably be doing some type of a Black Friday announcement uh, on the site pretty soon, too. So uh, stay tuned for that. Um, speaking of, by the way, again, nice trade this morning on gold and silver you guys know i've been in this here um reading a comment from one of my members here um by the way anyone anyone not an active trader made my entire year with just silver a couple hundred shares and two calls on GLD slv and only had to hold for one day so we made some really good uh pocket change here on gold i think about 32 percent or so on GLD calls we had some nice gains on futures silver and gc but anyways will be a black friday announcement so stay tuned for that. Anyway, let's get into it here today. So markets today um, with a bounce. So I'm going to pull up a messy chart here. And um, it's ES. Got a lot of day trading lines on here. But you can see we've had a 60-point rally here. But we have not, I mean, we're in no man's land. We have not really reclaimed anything other than kind of that overnight high. And um, we're not following through. So the market here is pretty quiet. Bears still have immediate, very immediate short-term control, um, meaning you know that the short-term trend on the hourly, et cetera, is still uh, intact. Daily, still obviously bulls. 20 MA is still holding. Um, I think the market's probably going to be in autopilot mode for the next two days. Why? Because NVIDIA's earnings is Wednesday after the bell. Um, so we're not really, you know, unless we get some sort of news here out of left field, I don't think we're going to get um, too much volatility. We had a nice little pop off the lows, um, and we'll just keep it simple here. You know, if, if bulls reclaim, you know, this area here on ES, you got to get above there first. I mean, really, I'd say 50, so 59.50. You now, you reclaim that, that definitely puts the point in their favor. Um, for me, though, the bigger level is that it's actually the same SPX 59.50, and that is going to be Thursday's low. So it's actually 5940, but I know where the Gamma Boys sit. It's right at 5950, so they'll be sitting there intraday. There will be Gex there if we get up there. So you reclaim that, you repair everything, and it's officially a bear trap. The other level, um, this is either or, is 20,790 NQ. You get above that, I think you got bears pretty good, pretty well trapped. But until then, um, dead cat bounce. Bears in control. Normally, I would say, um, nine, 99 times out of 100, I would say this is exactly what bears would want to see today because you didn't try to knife sell. Um, if we, like, tried to gap down and, um, you know, flushed out in the morning, we would have gotten four-hour, you know, massive divergence, and you would have gotten a real short squeeze, and then the lows would have been in. So just the, this kind of dead cat bounce is usually conducive for bears here. And you get another day or two of that you can flush down on a bear flag. The problem is, as I've mentioned lately, we're like time, right? Time next week is gonna be a holiday week. So if they don't damage the charts here, you know, we gotta get below the 20 DMA, bare minimum, and then you know, the 50 from there. Um, we don't do some chart damage here and start making lower lows, you know, you're gonna run into holiday volume, and, and there's just not gonna be enough seller liquidity. Um, you know, the big boys are going to go to Vermont and go skiing. So they're not going to be trading. Um, then you're not going to have that sell side liquidity unless we get news. Um, well, what about, you know, Ukraine? I, I don't know. I think oil, I mean, oil did rally today. New, new day of a contract. Look, it went in red overnight after the, the, the Biden news. So I don't think this is really uh, an anything burger. I, don't you think the ES would have, would have been down today too? Um but yeah, oil, I mean, it was up, it was a new contract, it, and, but the, the dip buy came, or the, the buying came after, like, 12 hours after that news, so it wasn't impulsive on that, so it'd have to be something else, but again, that's kind of where I sit right now. We'll see what NVIDIA brings, that's obviously what the whole market's all hinged on right now, and um, yeah, until then, I think we're going to be kind of range bound. I mean, look at what happened after the squeeze here, so we had like a 40-point rally, and then we got stuck in a 15-point range for four and a half hours. So, 
starting to quiet down there. But onus is on the bears to do damage. Uh, Q's again. Yeah, 503. That will line up with this pivot at uh, 790. So that's your level. IWM into support, uh, into the 20 MA, you got a little bit more at 225. This could get a bounce here tomorrow. Um, I prefer to see a little pierce, if I could pierce that, um, that could be a, if we could get a little down day into 225 tomorrow, I think that could get a, a tradable dead cat maybe for a day or two. But um, that's still level right now on the Russell. Let me put my lines back on here. Get this back up. So there you go, and then you've got that trend line. There we go right there as well. So right in that area. Should be a, a tradable move there for the Russell. Dow kind of just hanging on a, a shelf here. It has been weak lately. I mean, it was weak really all day. Didn't really get anything going, but it's, it's hanging on to 433. Um, it breaks that, you got the 20 MA, and there's a big gap here. So a lot of airspace there. But um, yeah, there's still some support around 430 for now. Um, SMH here up 66 basis points. So finishing green, I would call that a 200 MA test. That's close enough. That's a kiss. We'll see what it does over the next couple of days. A lot of the time when you hit these, you guys know that you watch the channel, you know they like to do these types of things around that 200. Again, we got NVIDIA earnings coming up, so it, you know, that can move 10 points each way pretty easily. Um, IGV down a penny and that's backing off as SMH is up so I expect to see more of that I don't think it's going to happen all at once all right away but I do think that trend continues and that rotation continues we'll talk about the dollar in a minute we already talked about gold a little bit but anyway uh, transports here down a half a percent again way overbought needs to pull back not really much else to say there um Yields are kind of quiet today. So two's pulling back. Again, I effectively say they, they, they hit my target, right? They're within three basis points. Could it go up there and officially test it, officially pierce the 200? Sure, but it's got close enough. If it, if it came back down from here, um, I wouldn't be surprised if that was, that was it. Um, fives again, all the way up to 440 on Friday, backing off today. Tens, 450, backing off today. 30s, tight. So two's coming down a little bit more, 30 staying firm. That long end, still pretty strong at the moment. XHP down 22 cents, again, no man's land there. Nothing's changed, 111 to 120 is just a range. The NQ pretty strong today, up 68 cents, trying for a higher low there. This is one thing I look for when I'm trying to scout whether a flag or a channel will break out. You get the lower low and then you get a higher low after that and then you go up and test. I don't think it's ready yet. I think it probably needs one more, but for right now, trying for a higher low here. XLF's a powerhouse um, of 15 cents, still pinned to 50. There may be a little bit of profit taking going on in the dark pool at this level. Why do I say that? I don't know, it just, get, it just looks like that to me. <laughs> Uh, KRE, by the way, Stan Druckenmiller bought KRE last month, so um, maybe maybe that's wrong. Um, but yeah, KRE down 12 cents here. Again, needs to digest that move way overdone. Same thing with KBE. And broker dealers, again, up nicely. They have one and a third. Still pretty strong here. I think the 20 MA needs to catch up. That's going to go higher. That's in parabolic territory, though. It is on borrowed time. Look at Robinhood today 8%. That's the IPO price. All right, uh, oil we talked about a little bit. Nice pop. I don't know what this wants to do here. It's been in a range for a long time. I will say the trend is dangerously getting close to turning down here. Um, 20 below the 50 now. You got spacing starting to build here. Needs to hold 67. It's doing that. And 70 bucks, next little stop, micro stop there. Um, this comes down again. I wouldn't rule out a 64 test. Seasonally, it does tend to get weak towards the end of the year, but then that's kind of the low. That's at odds with XLE, which I've been telling you doesn't need crude to, to go up, and 
that's been the case here and to help definitely help today up 1.3 nice move getting close to the inverse head and shoulder target so never got negated boom right there never got negated at least still going xop higher high there above the 200 next big level is about 147 50 148 Oh, wait, it still has an inside bar. Didn't like that candle Friday, but nice bounce today. I want to see that get back above 300. Nat gas is a complete mess, as per usual. So uh, gapping up like 10% and then filling the gap and then <laughs> closing back at the high. There's, uh, so I gap to look, oh, sorry, only 5%. And then filling the gap and then right back up at the highs. Again, still seller control until you break through this area. But um, buyers definitely, you know, looks like some shorts got caught in the hole on Friday. So buyers got a good chance to rally here, but seasonally, it's got about two weeks left. At least that's how the trends tend to work. Uh, CCJ, nice pop, up $2. Higher high, that's important. Needed that. URNM, higher high, needed that. Like to see it back above 50, but um, to more or less confirm a weekly higher low but you did get the daily so nice job they needed to do that you are nj did the same so uranium starting to firm up a little bit more dollar index I talked to you guys about dealer gamma rolling off on gold i at least i don't know if i mentioned that here i know members knew about that um the gld level negative gamma coming away Dollar index going into 107. You know, these things were changing on Friday. We talked about rotation, dollar pullback, et cetera. We got it here. So um, is it a, you know, a meltdown? No, I mean, it's had a big move. It'll probably bounce, you know, 105 and change tomorrow. Maybe 105.50. You got the 20 MA catching up. It's not broken. It's just up like 4% in two months, which is ridiculous for the world's reserve currency. A lot of people, you know, piling into the Trump stuff here, and rightfully so, but, you know, just into a big, big level. Gold, so let's talk targets here. I'm sure some of you guys probably jumped on this trade with me. Um, well, you're already into one. Um, two, 26.50. Four-hour pivot low uh, from last week. And there's a couple others, you know. 2675, you just take the fibs here. 27 is a 618. We're not going to go there in a straight line. I would think that's going to look like something more like a zigzag. We might even pull back a little bit tomorrow. I have an inside day, but I think there's a tradable level in place. Same thing with silver. I'm looking for like 32, maybe 33 if it really wants it. Platinum, what a bid. Uh, up 3%, so nice bounce there. And it's trying to hold those higher lows. Used to continue that. Palladium, also a very big, big, very big bid up seven. Back above a thousand. So big move across the board for metals, except copper, only up one point five. Pulling the four handle though, I still think it wants to go retest four twenty five, maybe four thirty, but definitely a little bit softer than the rest. Um, Bitcoin, still fine. Um, big strong update. I am starting to get a little bit of exhaustion signals on this particular move. Um, not, not macro move, but like just this move. So this may start to run out of gas, might need to tighten up a little bit. Um, it's not a sell signal, it just means that um, you know, it's getting a little stretched here. Might need to do some more basing, just like the market's doing right now. So we'll see. And I talked about this on Friday, like NASDAQ was down, you know, what was the Q's down like 2% or whatever, two and a half, three percent Meanwhile, Pepe was green, right? You know, like Bitcoin was, was bright green. So I, I think this is just kind of a, a retrace. I've seen a lot of evidence of that in the charts. So, but anyways, guys, I will wrap it up here again. Uh, you guys take care. Have a great evening. Thanks for the comments. They all, it definitely helps the channel. I've noticed that for sure. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for following and supporting. So anyways, you guys take care and I will see you guys all tomorrow.